Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Saturday, yay, August the 10th. Okay, you guys, the first thing I want to address is this line right here. I got many, many messages. This line came through right after I finished my report yesterday, and I had a lot of people asking me if this was a timeline jump. And it has a kind of complicated answer, so bear with me. This line does not go through any of the other graphs that I check. A collective timeline jump has to go through all the other graphs that I'm looking at. That's the information I was given in meditation years ago, and it's what I've stuck with. However, I have been told before that we are all on our own timelines as well, and when there's a timeline jump on one graph and not on the others, it's an indication that enough people move together collectively to a timeline to make a dent or to show up on the graph, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it was a total collective jump. What does that mean for you? Well, what it means for you is if you feel like you timeline jumped, you probably did, but it was not a total collective jump. It was more of a small group. I don't think I was part of that group. Doesn't mean you weren't. So take what works for you, friend, and just believe in what you know is true for you. Don't wait for me to confirm it for you. Part of that trust in, you know. Yesterday was a very intense day for me energetically. We got a ton of release energy, and then we got this super heavy duty, duty stitching pattern. My body yesterday was worn out. By the time I got home, I felt outside of myself. I felt almost out of step, out of sync with my energy. And then last night I had all kinds of dreams where I was having conversations with a guide. This was a new guide that I haven't seen before and I don't remember the name they told me, but they kept telling me they were my guide and they showed up in two different dreams throughout the night. And of course, I don't remember what they were saying. Wouldn't it be nice if I was? But I did wake up feeling much more of a sense of comfort and relief. This brought up a lot of anxiety for me yesterday and nervousness and all kinds of stuff about a lot of the stuff going on in my life and it's gone this morning, so that's nice. So far today we are in a very calm pattern. We don't have a lot of release. We don't have a lot of integration. We are kind of in a state of homeostasis today. So please take advantage of this because I don't know how long it's going to last. When I ask in meditation about it, what I hear is it's a good time to ground. It's a good time to meditate. It's a good time to find those things that help you feel good. Because remember, you have a, enough free will that you can choose to be in a crappy mood. But that's on you, friend. Choose to be in a good mood. That's on you too. All right, and here are our cards for the day. So the first card we got today is Eight of Wands in reverse. This card is acknowledging that a lot of people have been feeling very stagnant or still in their daily lives, especially connected to the spiritual. But what they want to remind you of is just because it feels like you're stagnant on the outside does not mean you're stagnant on the inside. The only way that you would not be making progress spiritually is if you are misaligned with your purpose. Now, when you're misaligned with your purpose, you can feel it. It feels like you're efforting too much. You feel like you're trying too hard and all these things are just not working out. So that's how you know if you're misaligned. Things just aren't working out. So what do you do when that happens? You wanna take the time to recalibrate yourself to your energy and not the energy around you, not living by default, but by living on purpose. This card has been coming out a lot in a lot of the readings I've been doing. We are walking into a strong, strong state of manifestation, friends. So be careful that you are not manifesting from this misaligned state. You're being reminded that your focus 100% matters. If you are focused on all the trials you are having and how much trouble you're going through and how nothing is working out, then law of attraction literally has no choice but to reflect that to you in some way. You're being encouraged instead to follow your inspired pursuits. Do those things that help you feel good. Don't hurt anybody else and don't ignore your obligations. But if you feel like coloring, then color. If you feel like going for a hike, go for a hike and allow yourself to be part of this life that we're in and don't just fold yourself up and disappear. That is how you're gonna get that feeling of liberation. You are so free to choose whatever you want. You can choose the feeling of bondage. So choose to do those things that help you feel free and like you're more like yourself today. Just indulging a little bit. Come on, do it for me. Because when you do, you give permission to your energy to step you forward into the next phase of your awakening, whatever that may look like for you. It's gonna look different for everybody. Some people, their clairs pick up. Some people, they start becoming more aware of other awakened people. I don't know, it's gonna be different for everybody, but the only way to walk forward into this time of awakening is to allow yourself to experience the liberation of following those inspired pursuits and not sticking not holding on to that feeling of misalignment that you've had for a while. Now's the time for change, friends. As you can see, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in Illinois. I'm so grateful for the sunshine and the blue sky and all the wonderful things that are out here. And I'm gonna encourage you today to go outside and just remind yourself of all the beauty that's just literally waiting for you to look at it, waiting for you to see it. 
it's time to enjoy your day, friends. Choose to have a good day. Go outside, plant your feet, put your face in the sun, take a deep breath and just say, today, today's a great day. It's a great day and it's my day. See ya.